I'm at Kilt Rock right now, and they kind of greet me with a sign about the uh, most impressive collection of Scottish dinosaur remains uh, from the Jurassic period on this coast. You can compare your footprints with dinosaur footprints, guess which Jurassic footprint is there, and I know they. this is the uh, Stefan Dinosaur Stomping Ground of Scotland. Oh, here's the uh, some of the footprints. Go out this way. This is, like I said, a uh, kilt rock. I hear. Uh, go ahead. Here's our clan Ross, Victoria. <laughs> Here's a view of the Kilt Rock, a little rainbow, rainbow on it. Yeah. There must be little holes. Or yeah, just in the uh, there's little ventilation holes that are uh, the wind is so strong it's whistling right through them. Yeah. here. So I'm going to try to get the, uh, this informational sign here. Kilt Rock appearance from Gaelic. Uh, Kilt Rock is 60 meter high sea cliff. Its tall columns are made of hard basalt rock which stand on the top of a actually a softer lime sandstone. This part of the sky was formed over millions of years. Our extraordinary landscape has been shaped by the soft volatile sandstone made from tiny remains of rock earth and animals and plants and hot volcanic lava which forced its way through the softer rock. So the softer sandstone is underneath the very hard basalt. Great spot for seeing whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Watch for fins breaking through water or dolphins uh, jumping. So sometimes you can see uh, uh, the common dolphins, bottlenose dolphins, harbor porpoises, which look a lot like killer whales. And they actually have the minke whale and uh, the sea pig. Which, uh, oh, that's the minky wheel. Yeah. All right. Go further up here. Walk. Basalt rock, that's what they say, forms at those steep cliffs are basalt. 